Hey, do you want to help my customer? Like this in Roblox Well, I can show you. So This is part four, and we are going today, right? This is, we're gonna actually work on something different, but we're gonna still do some summer stuff. So we're gonna do a section. So we're gonna first uh, do our own stuff. We're gonna upgrade the shop and the sell place. And then we're gonna also move on to the comment section, okay? Cause they had some things that we, that they suggested. And yeah, so we're gonna do those. Those are the hot bar and the the shop uh, wall so when like you know you go you know like in pet Simulator, right there's a wall and then you buy it and then you could go to the next level like that that's what they want so yeah uh we are gonna go back to how to make a Simulator. and if you have uh those questions right just like um the people in the comment section right that will be amazing okay that helps me out it helps Gloomcraft out with the series, so yeah. All right, guys. So before I start, I want to just point out uh, in our just comment section, there's all the resources, all the code. But I want to show you our website. So if you go to videos here, you can actually go to one of our videos. We're gonna upload our newer videos on here, okay? And if we go, so I'm gonna, for example, I'm gonna show you part three of the similar video. See, we can you can watch the video, our video. And then you also have all access to the code. We have not used, we're not using GitHub anymore. We are gonna use our own website, okay? So hopefully that helps you. So all resources, everything's gonna be in the comments. So we are gonna start out. We're just gonna jump straight to um Blender, okay? We are gonna make a shop, all right? So we're gonna have a shop right here because the player spawns here, we're gonna make a shop. And the reason why we're making a shop, just like the, the model for it, is so people can actually get into this shop right here into the actual shop where you can buy stuff right that's the whole point so we're gonna get into blender and if you don't know how to use blender guys uh we have made a video on that because someone before was asking blender isn't free how do i get blender so that's why we're doing that video and it would be awesome if you liked and subscribed because we put a lot of effort into these videos we have all the code and the resources all free we have all the models we use all free so it helps out a lot and if you want extra models you can go to our you can buy our plugin we have two plugins we have the light version and the the premium version so if you buy the premium version you get extra models extra stuff and then also if you go to our patreon we have a free try on there now you can get all of our models if you just sign up for our patreon only one dollar a month that's crazy okay so hopefully you like that right so yeah all right, so we're gonna start off with by making this shop, okay? So what we're gonna do is gonna go to this cube, right? And then we're just gonna go to the scale property over here. I'm gonna scale it down on the Y axis, put it more on the Z axis, and yeah. So then, yeah, so then we could just stretch it out like this, like that. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to this modifiers over here, add modifier, bevel. I'm gonna go segments three, and I like a 0 0.19, uh, actually no, I like 0 0.25 for the bevel. It can make it rounder and stuff, it makes it much nicer. So that's all I really wanna do this, this with this. I might like just, you know, have it some more width a little bit, but that's all I wanna do for that. Now we're gonna add, go to mesh, we're gonna add a cube, okay? And here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it out a bit right and then we're gonna stretch it out on this side a little bit because this is gonna be the main like frame of the shop here so we're gonna do that like that stretch it out with the width like this uh so we're gonna do a little bit more like that stretch it out like this there we go there we go so now i'm gonna add a modifier i'm gonna add another bevel because i like bevels so we're gonna add a three and we're just gonna make them out more i'm gonna do 0 0.27 and i'm gonna just move it down because it has a roundness to it at the bottom as you see and i don't want that visible so i'm gonna move that down until i can't see it there we go and make sure it's not clipping going through this at the bottom okay so now we got i got that's all i really want to do for this part and we'll make the the door and the windows in inside of roblox instead so now i'm gonna just do shift a i'm gonna add a cone and i'm gonna go down to the bottom do not click anywhere on the screen click on down here first add, add cone and then we're gonna make the vertices uh, at four okay and there we go so now we can just bring this up turn it around oh that's not what i meant to do. turn it around like this there we go and then i just want to you know stretch it out and stuff like that boom stretch stretch that bad boy boom and then we can bring it outward like that. 
And there we go. And obviously that looks horrible right now. You can literally tell that's just the worst thing you've seen in your goddamn life. Okay. So we're not at a bevel. Okay. As you can see, I really like bevels because they just make everything so much look nicer. So now we can like bevel it down to how much you want. I'm going to bevel it down to 0 0.15. Okay. Actually, I might do a bit more. Uh, no, 0 0.25 it might be. Uh, I'm gonna just do 0.2. Alright, and then I want to extend the top here because I like to do that. And there we go. So that helps out a lot. But also, if you see, this has a lot of excess on it. So we can actually remove that a bit by uh, selecting these two points here on e each of these sides, right? And then just go to the scale tool and then shrink them down. Like, okay. And then you can just shrink it down, shrink them down, and whatever, right? There we go. So then I'm gonna shrink it down on this side a little bit as much as I can. And there we go. Now I'm gonna just move it. Now I'm gonna go back to object mode, move it over a bit, okay? And then I'm gonna go back to, to edit mode. I'm gonna stretch the top out a bit more and then select these pieces at the on the side again. And then we're just gonna go to the scale tool and shrink that down. So make sure nothing is like going through it as I see, I see some of it going through there. Oh. So now we can go back to object mode and then, you know, change it how you want. And then I want it, I want my roof to be a bit tilted. I like that. Thing is, I see a little bit coming through right there. So I might move it a little bit to get that rid of that. There, there we go. And I might rotate my roof a little bit more too. There we go. Okay. And that's causing, you know, it to get seep through. I want to do that. There we go. Okay. So there we go. And that's all I really want to do for this. Okay. So I might actually no. I'm going to go back to object mode. Actually, I want to just move this down a bit because it's too much right now. I'm going to move that down. And I'm going to lift this up a bit. But as you see, it's kind of causing problems because of the rotation and stuff. So I'm going to just do this. And then I might make it bigger. Huh. Okay. Making it bigger is not helping. So I'm going to just move it upward, I guess. Like that. There we go. Uh -huh. There we go. That's all I want to do for the roof, honestly. Now I'm just going to select my middle piece here. And I'm just going to go to over here to UV editing. Okay, and I'm gonna go to image and open. And you're gonna have to join our Discord server to get what, a color palette so we can choose the color you want. On the Discord server, you know, you can talk to me, you can talk to the Gloom creators, we can help you out with scripts, but please don't rely on this because um, that's causing a lot of pressure because we're trying to do other stuff and another stuff and then, you know, yeah. But don't rely on us, but you can ask us for help, okay? That's all I want to say. All right, so it would help out if you join our Discord server. So now, you know, we press A on this side, and then on this side, press A, press S, shrink that bad boy down to a single dot, and now we can select where we want this to be. I want it to be like a nice blue color, so I'm gonna put it right there. Go to layout, and obviously we don't see it. So you have to press Z, and then go to a material preview, and we're still not gonna see it. So you have to click on here, and then go to this beach ball, and then press new, to press the yellow dot, image texture, and then in this drop down, we can just click our color palette, and there we go. And right now it looks like a smurf, a smurf cat. Um, that's not intent. Uh, <laughs> it kind of looks like a smurf cat, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, I'm gonna go to UEV editing. Press A on the side, press A on the side. Shrink, now nah, bubble down, press G. And then, what should color should our roof be, honestly? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna choose a brown. Maybe that's fine, so I'm gonna click this. We're gonna, you know, we're already in material preview, so we're gonna press new, yellow dot, image texture, drop down, color palette. Okay, the brown does not match well, so I'm gonna instead, oh, I actually selected a different object. We're gonna have to select that triangle. But I'm gonna, honestly, I'm gonna select a different color. Out of any color, I'm gonna use orange. Orange is just, okay, that's a bad, very bad one. I want a good, good orange. I'm gonna move it down here. Now it looks red, even though it looks orange. Okay, move it up a bit. Nope, that's not good. Uh, I want the best orange I can find. So I'm, I guess I'll just choose this brightest one I can find. It kind of looks yellow. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave this out. And you're gonna probably wonder, why are you leaving it out? It's not gonna have color. Okay, one thing I do wanna point out is that if, you know, they don't have a material, in Roblox Studios, you can actually change the material yourself. But you can't have all them, like, uh, you have to it attach the individual pieces together, okay? So I'm just gonna go to file. Actually, I might just, uh, yeah. All right, let's just go to file. Let's export it, right? Export FBX and let's store it where we want to. I'm just gonna store it in my... Actually, I'm going to store it in this file, E file, and I'm pretty sure I have a file for our, you know, similar, similar parts. There it is. And I'm going to add this. I'm going to call it shop.fbx. Okay. Export that. And now we can go back to Roblox. We could go to a view 
and then we could go to asset manager and then mesh uh, we could actually upload and then we could do uh so we could go to e where's file e and then we can go to where is it where is it where, where did i restore it simulator parts similar parts there it is all right i'm gonna insert the shop the fbx okay actually not yeah fbx and then don't import a single mesh file okay so then I'll apply all, there we go, and bing, and then bing, and bing, there we go. Now we can just insert, so this is that part, you know, at the bottom. And as we see, we can actually change the color. So that's why I'm doing this. And then now we could just, but this one, I'm sure we cannot change the color, yeah, because it has a material. But if we want to remove that texture, we can just go to texture ID and remove it ourselves. If we are deciding to change it to a Roblox color that Roblox already has. Okay, so now I'm just going to have it. Oh, okay, I just actually took everything. I'm just going to have it here like that. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going to have it the i think it was shop cone yeah i mean that yeah put it on the top here and yeah so now we can just put this on top right there oh it's actually supposed to go the other way so i'm gonna rotate it so rotate it that way and then we're gonna move it in a good position there we go yeah there we go move it like there uh, i can make it bigger you know if you want to i'm just gonna make it bigger like this there we go okay and then uh there we go so I think now we can choose the color we want. What is the best color? What matches good with this color? Actually, green works really well. So I'm gonna choose a green. Um, there we go. And then at the bottom, I think I'm probably gonna choose a darker blue or some other color here. So I'm gonna go to maybe, let's do maybe a dark blue. Let's do a dark blue. And yeah, so there we go. So now what we're gonna do is, so we're gonna go to our tool uh toolbox is a bit annoying um so we're not we're gonna okay so i know i said i'm not gonna use the toolbox but in this case i want to just go to meshes here okay um actually no no okay yeah let's do this all right let's just go to meshes and actually no no, no. okay I, i'm thinking about you know doing you know um using the toolbox it's tempting see that's the thing it's tempting because i'm you know you're feeling lazy you don't want to do it but just get over it <laughs> like try to get over it don't you know just you know, like just use start using the toolbox because your experience might not turn out how you want it to be okay thing is i want to save my uh thing here so i'm just gonna save this in a folder i'm gonna call it shop.blend okay so yeah okay so now i'm gonna just make a window so i'm gonna go to new general i'm gonna make a quick window and like super quickly so i'm gonna go to here no i'm gonna go to cube insert cube i'm just gonna shrink that down make it a little bit bigger uh shall i have a longer window i'm gonna have a long window i want to have a long window um there you go so like that right so this is just a frame and then we're gonna add a bevel so i'm gonna go to modifiers bevel so this is like a speed run guys oh speed run of a window three we're gonna add a little bit of bevel to, bevel to it and now what we can do is we're gonna control c duplicate it shrink this one down like this put that inside of there control d duplicate it turn up oh, control c v right and then turn it around like this uh not shrug it down do it like this like that there we go right and obviously it's not looking exactly how we want right because we want it to go around it, right so what we're gonna do is we are going to go up here oh i actually press undo okay we're gonna go to end of mode and we're not gonna sub i uh, mean loop cut and then we're just gonna cut it so i'm gonna just cut it until we have it so it's on the edge and not touching you know that part right there so we're gonna have it like there there okay there. now we can actually bring these parts and stretch them out kind of like that okay there we go we can stretch them out actually i would select um these two vertices here boom boom i'll select these all these at the top here i'll select this one this one this one make sure the other ones are not selected because it's selecting these ones in the back which we do not want there we go oh why are there so many selected ones you see how it's selecting yeah yeah we do not want these okay there we go we only want those vertices there okay then we can just stretch them out like that okay and well, now we can do the same thing at the top okay but i'm gonna go yeah we're in end mode so we're gonna loop cut and instead i'm gonna just cut cut and then cut i want to go at the bottom cut 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 and then we can just select this and all these on um, these vertices at the bottom right here bang 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 yeah so now we can also yep there we go so now we can stretch those out thing is it's selecting these on the back which we do not want so let's unselect those by holding shift and then pressing on them there we go. So now we can just stretch these out. But also we should 
select these here. There, let's select this. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then also, I want to do E so we can extrude them a little bit. And there we go. I know this is kind of looking a bit stranger uh but this is how i want to make my window so i'm gonna do that and then i want to select these actually i'm gonna go to press z again we can go to wireframe and i want to just select these two at the top you see those boom and we can press z and then we go back to solid okay and obviously we select the ones at the back again i keep tr not trying to do that but i do that so I'll unselect those and then we can just you know and then we could just stretch them out like this and just kind of like that. Okay, and then also now let's go back to object mode and then let's select these and then let's also skinny them down. Okay, and I want to bring them back kind of like that. There we go. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to add a plane and I want to do this like that. There we go. And then we're going to bring them out here like that. And then now we could just, you know, stretch them out like this. There we go. Now we have that glass pane in there. That's going to be our glass pane. Okay? Yeah. So now, um, what I'm going to do is, I think, I'm going to remove the bevel off of these. I believe that's not helping with the style of this, right? There we go. And then I'm going to just select these two pieces here. And then we can actually go over here, right click, and then we can actually, I'm pretty sure, is it possible to group them? Because the problem is, if we select this one, right? Yeah, okay, I don't think, we're. I think we could make a new collection, but we're not gonna do that. Alright, let's just select both of these and go into, actually no, let's just export it like this, right? Export fbx and let's make sure it's gonna be good so let's go you know where it is simulator parts and i'm gonna call this uh let's call this what should we actually uh this is a bit annoying the reason why i say that is because we could do it in blender and i'll be less annoying but then at the same time i don't think we can get that reflectancy we want okay so how about we test out with first let's just export it all right let's just call this glass window whatever i don't know glass window fbx right and let's go to roblox let's just import it in yeah, let's go up to here import 3d and let's do it here so let's do where is it at glass window open it up and then also what i want to do import as own as a model add model import as package what i want to do is the problem is i don't want them all just to be together though does this combine them all together because i don't like that um Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, we're good. All right, so that helps out a lot, right? So we're going to select both of these two pieces. I want to make a black. We're going to select that plane, and then we're going to make it, let's see. Let's make it a blue, right, for the window, and then we can add some reflectancy. Uh, there we go. Let's add some reflectancy, and yeah, I don't want to add too much. And then also, these back cube, we can make it like a brown or something. There we go. And also, since I don't really like how these are so thick, so I'm going to make them a bit more skinny right um but thing is it doesn't seem like what's happening because i don't know what i'm editing right now right oh this oh there we go all right we can shrink it fine okay shrink it down shrink it down and then this one maybe okay yeah i see what happened all right that's fine let's shrink those down like that and there i like that all right i, I actually i actually really like that all right we're gonna that's what our window is gonna be so yeah also i realized um putting the green on our shop is not uh, as good as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I have a different my a different thinking about it now. How about we add? Where is the bright orange is at? I swear, <laughs> where are the orange is at? Maybe like a yellow would be good. Yellow. Okay, let's try yellow. Or it might be because of the triangle. What if we just didn't have the triangle? But uh, then that kind of removes what I like about it unless i have it a different color no okay i'm gonna keep the triangle on there for now uh, i might remove it in a later episode right but i'm just gonna do that for now okay i'm gonna rotate this around put this here there we go yeah all right so now i'm gonna just shrink this down put this here duplicate it put this on the other side but i realized also the reflectancy i might remove the reflectancy because it kind of makes it um not look how i want exactly because i want it to look you know a nice bright so let's try to i'm gonna try to get a bright blue here the brightest i possibly can if that's the brightest i can get it okay so well or actually we should make a neon maybe okay neon is too bright so let's maybe actually make it into wait let's do smooth plastic smooth plastic is why it's not being as like shiny so maybe let's do like metal metal is not that bad but maybe you could turn it into glass okay glass doesn't look that good so let's just keep it on metal all right and i'm gonna do the same for this one actually no i'll just delete this one and look at this one and then put it over here okay that's what i'm gonna okay there we go so if it look if the shop doesn't look good i'm sorry this is also like this is my first time making a shop in blender sorry about that but if 
if you are, you know, if you don't like it, you know, you can change it however you, so. Um, also, I think I might change something else, because you see that background of it, cube cube, I might change the color. What color fits even better? Because I know there's got to be a good, good color that's better than just using black. Like, we could use white, huh? All right, you know what? Let's, let's, uh, leave it for now, okay? That's future me to think about, but what we're gonna do is we are gonna go get this plugin, 3D text, so just go to a plugin here, search up 3, 3D, actually, that's not how you write it, you write it like this, 3D text, and, dang it, 3D text, 3 text, okay, um, the problem is, as you see, it's not popping up. The reason why that's happening, look, so if you go here, all right, so let's search up on the web, we can search up 3, 3D text Roblox, okay? And then it will pop up, it's right there. But for some reason, I don't know why, it just doesn't pop up in the toolbox, okay? So yeah, I don't know why that's happening, so whatever. All right, so there we go. So now I'm just gonna move these back further a little bit like that, like that. And we're gonna use this plugin to make it so it says shop in big letters shop. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to lapsus bold, scale it, make it brighter. Let's make it a red color and finalize it. There we go. So now we have that. So it says shop up there and make sure everything's anchored. That's what I forgot to do. So let's make sure everything's anchored. Anchor, anchor, anchor. So anchor it all. There we go. And then we also don't have a door. All right. So thing is, all right. I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna no no no. All right. So let's make a door, a quick door and a blender. It's not gonna be that good. So I'm gonna first save this. You know, save as. I'm gonna save it. Actually, not save as. We just wanna save it. So save it somewhere on your desktop or whatever. And I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna search. I'm gonna actually search. I'm gonna put the name as frame window okay i'm just gonna put that <clears throat> and then we could go to file new general and then let's put a let's scale this right you know let's make it into a door shape so a door is like this skinny ish like that and then like that that's that's a door that is a door uh then we, i'm gonna add a bevel you know how much i love bevels guys from how much times i've used in this video so i'm gonna use a bevel like that okay and then i think all we need is a doorknob Okay, so let's make a quick doorknob. It's not gonna be an amazing doorknob, but it's fine. So, there we go. We have a UV sphere. And actually, okay, I actually moved it, which caused it, you know, to remove the, what we wanted down here, right? This thing. So, I'm gonna just make it be, I don't know, what is the lowest we can get it to be? I think that's, 9 is good. 9 is a good number. If you want a 10, you can do that, but I'm gonna put 9, okay? And then, I'm gonna do shade smooth, okay? Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Just to get rid of that, like, like weird, you know, to, that's just gonna make it nice and smooth, you know what I mean? Okay, so now... I'm gonna just um, make a quick cylinder. Let's make, so let's do, uh, let's do eight. Eight vertices. Now let's just go down this, like that. Shrink that bad boy down, stretch it. And then we could just move it along here. This is just a quick little door. Okay, it's not gonna be anything too crazy. I'm gonna move it here, stretch it, like that. And then we could just, you know, um, obviously that looks a bit cursed right now. So I'm gonna just shrink these down and I think it's because this is like standing up. There we go. I think that's okay for a door, but I think it's because this is also too big. So I need to shrink that down. Let's just get it like perfect here. So let's like that. There we go. That's all I'm going to do, honestly. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to choose a different type of doorknob which involves you know it's those types of doorknobs you know they have like at hotels i mean i don't know if you i don't know but i don't know what they're exactly called but they're more like this way right like this you know like you open it it's a kind of like a lever um yeah those are the ones i'm gonna try to make here so i'm gonna just go to i'm gonna select this cylinder i'm gonna go to edit mode i'm gonna select these vertices here okay and i'm gonna press e extrude them and then yeah so now I think we can just turn them, but that's not going to be great. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to do this, right? And yeah, so then hopefully, oh, I actually unselect them. I, yeah, we're not going to be able to, you know, do just like this because that looks horrible, right? So what we're going to do is, so we are going to do this. We are going to press S and scale up, okay? I'm going to press E and then we're going to press E again, okay? Wait, oh, forgot to do something. Uh, so let's scale. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So we're going to press E, right? And we're going to do a little bit. 
and I'm gonna scale down. Okay, there we go. That's like a very simple dumbed down version of a, you know, of a, of a, <clears throat> of a doorbell. Oh, doorbell. I swear, I am not doing things correctly. But the problem is, I might have messed it up a bit, so I'm gonna do this again. So, instead, we're gonna go press, I'm gonna go back a little bit more. I'm gonna press S, right? I'm gonna go bigger. Press E. Press S a little bit more down. E. S a little bit more down. And yeah. Okay. There we go. That's basically a door handle, right? So, and obviously, it's extremely big, so we're not just scale it down but i also see it's kind of a bit weird because you know this here so i might reverse the changes back to like this and then make it so it scales down there we go and then i'm gonna move this back okay there we go i think i'm gonna keep that and i'm gonna just shrink this down and put this somewhere Actually, I might need to make it big. How did I just flip it? I think I'm gonna just put it here. Uh, and then that's all I'm gonna do for the door for now. I'm gonna export it FBX. And now we're just gonna go to simulator part. And I'm gonna call it door.fbx. Save it. And then we're gonna do file, save. And then we're gonna do door.blue, right? And now we can go into Roblox. We can go into view, asset manager, upload. And I'm gonna use the where is it at that's strange why is it not here um uh, do i need to refresh it because i put a door where is the door that's strange guys where's the door at file export did i not do the door it's right there door grass wall oh i actually did it to the wrong one that's what happened all right export there we go okay so i'm gonna do door.fbx and then apply oh i might have no no all right i'm gonna stop it because i want to actually import go home and then press import 3d because then it automatically puts it into a you know um you know what it is right guys so you just automatically puts into one it's so much easier okay there we go that's just a simple door right so now we can open up the model and then this can be like gold and then this can be just a brown color but i want a bright brown so like that. There we go. Now I could just shrink this down. And let's put the door. Move this here. There we go. And I want to move this closer. Because they seem very different. There we go. Alright. There we go. We got our shop here. Just like a simple thing right here. Okay. Yeah. So there we go so now i'm just gonna you know let's group this all together also you see the floor you can still click the floor and you're probably like very annoyed by that right so just click the floor and then go over here and there should be a property for lock um if not um that's fine i guess because it seems like there isn't oh no right here go to data i didn't have that open there you go locked so now you can't just accidentally touch it right because that's annoying so now we can just you know do all that select all that right and then we can press group and then we can anchor it too so let's call this shop and let's move that into our map one right okay there we go so now we can grab this piece over here right for our other the shop over there okay and let's take this piece okay and oh my days uh so let's just open it up right we have our piece already so i'm gonna just cut this piece okay and all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move it into the door that's all i'm gonna and i'm gonna make it so in here it has more distance so i'm gonna do like 20 distance and then i'm gonna also name it uh so it says interact i'm gonna change it to open shop okay okay there we go so there we go all right what i also need to do is go to starter pl i think i put it into starter gui and let's go to shop gui and go into shop okay right here this is the prop because we have the proximity book so it says wait for child shop so that we can't do that yet so we're gonna do wait for child again and we're gonna add map one and then we're gonna wait for child we're gonna wait for door and then we're gonna wait yeah there we go so basically now that's gonna get that right and there we go so let's just test it out and see if it works so let's press play and see if we can do it oh there seems to be ears equipped is not a valid member of workspace oh oh no never mind guys i think i know where that's from it's because we left out some stuff here all right we're gonna delete those after but here we go so now we're here and oh whoa ho ho why can't i open the shop okay that's a bit annoying so let's just check that out because that's weird also the door is just way way too small okay and the windows actually need to be smaller so let's just small make the window smaller and let's also make over here out a bit more there we go and then yeah all right that's all i'm gonna do also i'm gonna spread them out a bit more because now it looks a bit awkward because there's empty space so i'm just gonna spread them out a bit there we go all right so basically we forgot to delete these over here because we do not need these anymore so i'm actually just gonna move this actually no i'm gonna just leave this here actually i don't really want them in. all right and there we go so what we also 
I think what was a problem is a proximity prompt, right? I think it might be the activation. It might be an act max activation distance problem. So what if we made that like a hundred? Okay, let's see what happens. If we make it like a hundred, will it work? Or so the error should not be happening. Oh, there's not a valid member of shop. Give that work reset. Huh? What do you mean the sh the camera is not a part of the shop? That's strange. Oh, shop and shop cam. Oh, we need to add a wait. Oh, wait, wait, what? Wait for child. Okay. Let's add a wait for child for the shop cam. Then. Wait for child, shop cam. Okay. That that problem we can fix. All right. Equipped is not a valid member of folder. Oh, workspace dot shown items. Oh, that's the problem with our shop here in the shown items. We didn't remove um the scripts because we don't need these scripts, honestly. So I'm just gonna click this script and I'm gonna disable the scripts. And oh yeah, though that was the only script that had it. There we go. Okay, so let's press play again. I think we didn't get to test it. So where, what's happening? I think, I think it's cause the proximity problem might be inside of the door, like on the other side of it in the empty space where there's nothing. So I might, so let's disable requires line of sight. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Oh, and there we go. That fixed it. All right. Now we have an open shop and then we can open it up and we have a shop. Perfect. Now, uh, let's just reduce the distance to like 40 or 35. I'm going to do 35. Okay. 35. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now, uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of UI here for the selling because honestly, I don't want this random stuff here. It's, it's a bit of Instead, we are going to use a. We're just gonna use a UI for it instead. That's actually really. That's gonna be good. Okay. So we're gonna add a screen UI and we're just gonna call it cell. This is gonna be kind of our first UI here. Okay. And late next episode, I think I wanna add currency UI. Okay. So I'm gonna go to cell. I'm gonna add a. I think let's just, yeah, let's add a frame. Yeah, let's add a frame because yeah, now so let's add a frame right on the side here, okay? And yeah, so then I think I'm just gonna call this uh, actually, no, the thing is, let's okay, so let's add another thing also. Let's add inside of here, let's add a image and uh, not an image label, let's add an image button and let's put the frame inside of this image button. Um, the only reason I'm saying that is so then I think, I believe we can do this, right? No, okay, let's just leave the frame outside of it. Okay, for now. Yeah, so let's just leave it outside for now. Okay, and we're just gonna make this kind of like a shadow. Okay, so we're just gonna make this 100, 100, 100, uh, so then 0, 100. Oh, 0, 100, 0, 100. There. Okay, now we got that, right? And then we can hold shift and then click on here and then drag that and there we go. And yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna add a UI corner to it. All right, let's make that 10 UI corner. Let's add a UI corner to this UI corner. Let's add a 10. And then also let's rotate this to make it cooler like that and let's make the background maybe like a blue there we go so just like that there we go image button let's add a ui stroke uh ui not ui corner but ui stroke and then let's make it bigger thicker right and then let's also do that to the background here let's add a ui stroke and then let's do that like a less ui stroke there we go okay so let's add a let's add a let's make well yeah let's make a cell icon okay let's go to pixlr okay um, I'm gonna have this in the comments, like usual, so I'm gonna create new. I'm gonna do art grid, and let's call this cell icon. Um, there we go. So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go here, and basically, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go to vector icons. Or, actually, actually, what we can do, we can do an icon, icon, pack, or Roblox. I think we can search that up, and millions of royalty-free icons, right here. The noun project, let's see this. So now we can just search up coin, okay? Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there's some coin icons. But thing is, they don't have color. So let's see if we can find another one. Let's do flat icon, right here, this one. Flat icon. And you can also just search it up, flaticon.com. And I'm just gonna search up coin, okay? And, oh, this one's a really good image. I'm gonna copy PNG. And paste into it. Okay. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna center this, put this here. I'm gonna add some text. It's gonna say cell or whatever, right? Cell, make it bigger. I'm gonna use, do they have for a, they don't, oh, add local font. I'm gonna add a local font. I'm gonna search up for a doka. Does it have it? Hopefully. So you can choose whatever um, font you want. But I'm gonna use Ferdoka, and I'm gonna show you in a bit how to do that, right? Okay. So all you gotta do is actually just go to Google fonts are pretty good. So just go to Google fonts and I think you can just download them here. So you can like find a font you want and then you could just press download family. Okay. 
pretty simple, pretty easy. Okay. So now we got Fredoka. There we go. So I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay. And yeah. So sell, you can sell or whatever. Let's make this a different color too. And let's make this, uh, let's make it also yellow. There we go. And then also I think I might add like boldness to it. it I might uppercase it under, no, not underline. That doesn't make sense. We could curve it. We could add backgrounds, outline. I might add an outline like that. I might add a black outline. There we go. And then also I'm gonna change the, the letter spacing out a little bit more. And go to shadow. We can add a nice shadow on there. And boom. Okay, there we go. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press save, you know, PNG, save it wherever you want. I'm gonna just do that. There we go. And now we could just go into Roblox. We can just click on our image button, which I'm gonna rename to cell button. Okay. And then we could just go to image and we could just choose cell icon. Okay. Create. Okay. There we go. So now we got that. And then we can also now just, you know, choose the background we want for this which I believe should be a darker blue. So let's see. Yep, there we go. So, and then that actually looks pretty good. See, so, all right, there we go. Okay. And obviously we wanna also scale these. So I'm gonna go to plugins over here, right? And I'm gonna search up auto scale light. Okay, like that. Search it up. And thing is, it should pop up. Okay, it pops up right there, auto scale light. And get this plugin, okay? It's very useful and it's free. Now we can go to auto scale light and we're gonna select both of these. And then we're gonna do auto scale light unit conversion, scale, scale. And then in our set, in both of these, we're gonna actually, yeah. In both of them, we're gonna go there. We're gonna select both of them, go to auto scale light and add constraint. There we go, there we go. So now we got those. All right. Now, um, really all I want to do, I want to take our script here that we have. I'm going to put that into server script service. I'm going to rename that to cell manager. I'm going to take this and we're going to actually make a remote event. So let's go to replicated storage. Let's add a folder and let's call it cell. And let's add a remote event inside. And then now what we can do is now all we can really need to, all we need to do is we can just do game in our cell manager. We can do game, get service, replica storage dot cell dot remote event dot on client or uh, server event connect function. And we can get player inside. There you go. Now we can actually copy uh, all the way up until where it says remote event there. And now we can go to cell button and now we can add a local script and we can do script dot parent dot activated connect function. And then we can just paste that inside. And then we could do a uh, fire server. Okay. And before we do that, we also want to add a debounce. So let's also do above here. Let's do local debounce equals true. Okay. So then let's do if, if debounce, then paste that in. And then also we're going to add debounce equals false. Okay. And then we could do, uh, actually, no, let's not add an else. Let's do down here. Let's do wait. So how much time should wait? What they wait till they can do it again. Let's just do 0 0.5 and then debounce equals true okay there we go and we can add a task to that if we wanted to but whatever so we're gonna task that way demons they're true and then we'll there so now we we can actually delete this old one that we had before now let's press play and see if our cell works so that we can punch punch right punch punch uh that's strange oh i see what happened guys we punched so fast that it couldn't keep up so let's click here Actually, well, yeah. Okay, I see what happened. Yeah, we went in so quickly that it just broke. Uh, that's strange. Okay. Oh, okay, guys. It seems like something broke in our data store. I don't know how this happened, but let's fix it. Let's go to data store and see. So, where's our strength? Huh? Okay, guys, this is strange. Um, I know people have followed our video, last video, and it was working perfectly. So, I'm guessing this is, has some problem with Roblox, because Roblox always has problems. Oh, there it is. How did strength become punch tokens? Okay, strength. There we go. Now we're good. So let's press play and it should just work perfectly. Oh, yep. Yeah, strength is back. So now we can punch, punch, punch. And we can press down. And it works perfectly. So you can keep pressing it until you have one strength left. And then you can do it. Perfect. Okay. There's our upgraded cell. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to help uh, with one of our commoners. Bo well, both of the commoners. So what I want you guys to do is go to the plugins and search Bloom Tools Light like that. And... Get this plugin. Or you can buy our premium version, which has, I'm gonna show you right here. Look, it has actually pretty good stuff. Okay. You can get scripted objects. You have so much access to stuff. You've access to a bunch of, you're gonna have access to a bunch of assets. You're gonna have templates of games, add pet system. There you go. So you're gonna have all this stuff. Okay. It's basically a better version of the light version. So now we can go into Goom Tools Light and you guys wanted a, uh, you wanted a hot bar. Okay. So right here we have hot bar. So let's just press that, add the hot bar in. And now, if we should play, there should be a hotbar, okay? So let's try it out and see if there's a hotbar. And as we see, there's a hotbar, okay? Hotbar right there. And if you want to edit the hotbar a little bit, you can. You can go into the, into the script slot and edit it out, okay? So you can edit it however you want, right? 
and whatever. As well, what we can do is what I actually, yeah. What we can do is add a texture ID. So I might also do that, okay? So let's just copy this and paste it and let's just put it somewhere, okay? Or actually, yeah, let's just put it somewhere or actually what is a better idea is we can actually go back to Pixlr, right? Close it, make a new one, art grid. And what we can do is let's get a punching glove. Oh, I vector icon. Um, actually, no, let's just go into here and let's do punching glove, right? Right, let's do this. Uh, punching gloves don't exist. I don't know why I'm saying punching gloves, it's a boxing glove, but sorry about that. So let's just copy this. Let's get this one, okay? Let's copy it and paste it into here. Oh, nothing to paste. Copy, 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 paste. Okay, I guess it doesn't want to copy. Um, oh, edit icon. Oh, this only if you, okay, let's just register it. Okay, guys. So continue with login. Gloomcraft. Yep, continue. That's fine. I don't care. There we go. Okay. Now I'm hope is it gonna copy? Oh, and now it copies. Wow. Um, but we could just press edit icon up here. Okay. And there we go. So now we can actually change the color of the icon and stuff. But what I wanna actually edit, which oh I actually is okay. What I wanna exit, so let's do boxing glove again, right? Since we can edit it now, we can actually choose let's choose this glove and let's press edit icon. It color from the icon. Okay, and then choose a new color so we can change stuff about it, which that's what I'm gonna do. So our first one you get is a red one. Okay, let's download that. PNG. Uh 500 by 12 would be perfect. So let's do free. And then let's now the next glove let's check it out what is the next glove so let's just go over here so red green okay it's green so let's go here and let's change it to green and it also change this oh whoa 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 also let's change this one because that's annoying like there make a darker one download it png download this one okay so now we downloaded that and so now the next one is yellow so let's do this and then let's go to here press yellow and then go here do a darker yellow so we're gonna choose a, a brighter yellow and then a darker yellow download png five hundred twelve free download now let's do the final one which is blue so let's do blue here go here and then we could just go here a darker blue download that png 512 there we go okay now we could just go here right and let's add texture IDs. So all we actually really need to do to do that is we could just go into replicated storage where we keep all of our items, right? And let's go to punching glove basic, right? And let's add some sort of texture ID um, into, we're gonna have to make it as a script to do that. So actually I'm gonna just go here to this, the model of it. And what I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add, let's just add, yeah. So let's add a attribute. Uh, we already added an attribute called add, but now we're gonna add a number attribute called texture, okay? To the model, okay? And yeah, so then what we can do, we can just add an image label inside of this, okay? Don't worry about it. And then we could just ch change, you know, the image to what we wanted. So let's do the red one first, which is the normal. So create it, okay? And now we got the ID. That's the ID right there. So we can just copy that, put the ID, texture ID into here. And now let's just do that for the, the diamond one. So let's do number. And then let's do, let's call this ID, right? Uh, oh, wait, texture. Let's just call it texture, right? And let's do a number value, save it. And then we're just gonna do, go back to this image label because this is only for testing, right? To just choose the ones we want. So diamond one is the third one. So now I could copy the ID, paste it to here, right? And then we could do the next one, which is the yellow one. So that's the one before, that's number two, right? Before the diamond one. So let's do that. Box that goes two. And now we could copy this. And now uh, we can also add the number and then we could do texture. Okay. And let's paste that in. And then we can do here. Okay. Plus choose file. And let's do uh, for the last one, we're gonna do the first one, which is the green one. There we go. So now we get the green one. Copy that. Okay. So we just copy that. All right. And now we can actually delete our text label and then we can just add, you know, add our attribute texture, paste this in. Okay. And yep, they're all different. And then, so let's just add it to our script here. What we're gonna do is we are going to go into our script here and say when it's equipped, right? Uh, we're also gonna do, actually not when it's a script, what we want it to do from the beginning is we want it so right here. I right, so script doc. Let's do script dot parent dot parent and then dot texture. Uh, let's see what it's called on our tool because we made a tool, right? It texture ID like that. So let's just texture I or ID. I'm not sure how to do it, but I think it's like that. Then we could do script dot parent get. I'm gonna do get attribute texture. Okay. 
And that's what it should. So let's just copy this and put it into every single punching glove. So paste that in. Let's just do it for every single punching glove. Put it in here. And then let's put that into here. Okay. Hopefully that works. Let's test it out. And let's see if it works. Let's play it. And let's see if it will work. Okay. Uh, It doesn't seem like it put it. Let's see why that happened. So let's just go into hot bar. So let's just go into the script. I know it's right here. So right here, it says slot clone the item image equals child dot texture ID. Okay, it should get the, let's just check if the texture ID is changing. Okay, so let's just go into our glove here. So here, and let's check, did our ID change? Texture ID, it did, it put a texture ID. Okay, uh, but it seems like it has an update. So I think maybe what's happening is we're gonna have to just keep, you know, checking if it's if the child, you know, like the texture ID is different. Let's go into here and let's add a let's do a loop while true. Do. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. And then also let's wrap this into a task dot spawn function. And then let's also actually let's do while wait. Uh, 0 0.5 or yeah, 0 0.5 honestly because I don't want it to do too fast I don't want it to go too slow. So hopefully that works perfectly. Uh, but it seems like It still doesn't want to set it. Uh, that's strange. So slot cone So I'm gonna come back to you guys with the solution. So it's nice and easy for you guys. All right guys So I found the solution. Um, so I just added this to the line of code rbx asset id colon slash slash and then i did dot dot texture id okay that just fixes it okay so there's the solution so there you go that's uh for that comment question that's how you do that but now i just want to get to one of the other persons um you know they what they wanted okay so i'm just gonna quickly do that because it's actually not that hard so we're just gonna make a wall here okay and i'm not gonna add anything to it because I just want to show you guys on how to do it. I'm going to make it a bit not too transparent. And what we want to do is turn on can collide. Okay. Right. But we want to make it anchored. Right. Blah, blah, blah. It's a simple stuff. And I'm going to call this test um, wall by. Okay. So all I'm going to do um, for this is make it so when you touch it, you know, you lose a certain amount of money. So let's just do a simple script here inside of it. This is script up here. And then we can do dot touched connect function. And let's do hit. If hit dot parent, then if hit find first child, uh, let's do humanoid. Then if hit, um, let's see what what does a player have uh if hit let's just put something inside of the player let's just add a folder call it um player um i'm gonna say is player uh, fine for shout is player okay this is that's uh, i'm just gonna add that so we know it's a player so if it's a player then hit when i do local hit i mean local char equals hit dot parent <clears throat> and then when i do local player equals game dot players dot and then we can do i think it's like colon get player from character and then do char inside of it okay then we could do if player dot leader leader stats dot punch tokens dot value is more or equal to let's do 100 and then player dot leader stats dot punch tokens dot value minus equals 100 okay there you go and then what we also want to do is do script dot parent dot uh no no we do not want to do that i was thinking about it but then i was like no Okay, there we go. So there we go. That's all we're gonna really do for that. Um, but honestly, we also need to use the local side. Okay. So I'm gonna just copy this. Okay. <clears throat> you can copy this, and then we could just add a local script into starter player scripts, and let's just paste this in. But instead, we're gonna obviously have to use game dot workspace, and let's do find first child, <clears throat> and let's do let's do test. I think it's called text oh well i actually call it a text but that's fine there we go and now then what we can also do inside of this is we could do game dot workspace bind for child text by wall uh actually no, no 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 let's not do that let's not do that uh because we want it so we actually can remove this because we're actually gonna do a different way <clears throat> we're gonna go into the data store and we're gonna add a new value okay and i'm gonna add a new random new value and actually i'm gonna make a new folder too okay <clears throat> I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call this let's do uh wall bulls wall wall bulls wall bulls wall uh bulls okay there we go I'm gonna add another place down here called wall bulls and then we could just copy one of these and then just change the name right let's call this wall one wall 
wall one wall one i'm gonna also change the name to wall one and we can make the parent to be wall bulls okay there we go now we can just do wall one dot value equals data seven because this is our data store and then we could do local wall one equals player dot and then we called it i think it was wall bulls right and then what dot wall one and then we could do wall one dot value okay and then add another comma and there we go so now we got that right and then in this local script what we want to do is we want to do um let's do wait zero actually no let's not add a wait exactly um but let's do while wait and let's do 2.0.5 seconds do and what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna add uh we're gonna get the player okay that's what we're gonna do. so we forgot to get the player so let's do local player equals uh game dot players dot local player right and let's do if player dot and actually before we do that we're also gonna do local debounce equals true and actually instead of doing the weight here we're gonna add debounce and then we're also gonna add the weight here and i'm gonna make this equal equal true and then we could do if uh the player dot wall bulls dot wall one dot value equal equal Actually, not we, we don't need to do equal. We're gonna do then, right? We could do game dot workspace dot text wall by dot can collide equals false. Okay, and then we can do debounce equals false. Okay, and then we can actually copy this and then we could go into uh, where was it? We had a script inside of this wall, and we're just gonna add inside of here. Let's add wall, so let's make the value equal true. There we go. So now if we press play here, right. This should just work and done, right? So right now, you can't touch it. And oh wait, I have enough money though. So wait, I'm gonna reduce my money real quick, okay? I'm gonna go to leader stats, punch tokens. I'm gonna make it zero dollars. So if I touch this, I can't get, buy it. I don't have enough money. But then, let's say I have enough money. I put it to 100, right? I can touch it, uh, and it should work. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. It's cut. Oh, it's player. Is it an error? There's no errors. Uh, that's strange. Uh, but it should be working. So let's see. If value okay what i'm gonna remove is i'm gonna remove this line because i don't yeah let's just remove that actually no let's not remove that because let's print right in here uh print wall i mean player touched wall okay and then in here we could do print we could do uh oh whoa 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 player box wall okay there we go okay so let's play here and let's test it out okay so should so let's touch it and it seems like it's not printing which shows the problem right uh let's see let's see let's see hit oh i forgot to do hit dot parent guys there we go that is our problem so let's play here and now it should work perfect so we tested before i couldn't go in normally so oh uh, okay that's strange it's still not doing it so i changed it to hit dot parent oh there's our problem why i guys i forgot to add hit dot parent that's that's where our problem is we need to add hit dot parent to the okay because we're touching it but it can't find something inside of something that makes sense all right there we go we bought it and now we have access to the wall there we go so that's it for this tutorial good coffee is about inspiration and learning so i hope this video helped you a lot and hopefully you guys comment down below more stuff like this so have a good day bye freaking eat my meat and i want to restart this video so suck my boot hole i swear i keep messing up everything like i freaking swear my busting oh hey guys what the heck and i hate their life and just like this and what ambassador oh no hey do you know how to make this video oh okay.